good morning. It's George with Watchman German Shepherd. We're here with the dogs out in the big pen early morning. Pretty brisk. And you can know that because they got a flannel on. Uh, fall is here. Much preferred for me. So anyway, the dogs are having a rare treat here. I give them the smaller raw hides and they like them. What'd you do with your zebra? What'd you do with your zebra? You ate it. Yeah. Good girl, Kelly. Oh, you got that, Kelly. Have the dogs don't play. Don't try to take their bones from them. You'll be in trouble. Yeah, the simple things. Simple things for dogs. What are you doing, Kelly? I mean, Tosca, what are you doing, Tosca? I think Tosca has uh, Eva's bone, actually. Tosca. Get that, get that. Where's Eva's bone? Yes, yeah, see, she has it. Daddy, Eva, get that bone. You better take it. Good girl, Eva. Good girl. Yeah, well, like I said, <laughs> dogs don't play. Don't try to take their bone. So it is nice. See the dogs just enjoy a bone, really. And relax a little. Hello, mama. Hello. This is Rhonda. Rhonda's due, well, just under two weeks here now. Good girl. Good girl. I think Ronnie's uh, four. She's gonna be four. And she's got a little gray there, which is not unusual for them to get them even at three. And so. But, uh, yeah, you can see Rhonda's showing. She wants another cookie. Well, there's no more right now. There's no more right now. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Let's cross there, by the way. Of course, it's six. He turned six uh, in July. I guess he's getting to be six and a half. Uh, he's quite a dog. If you're not familiar with the West Sherman show line, uh, he's about. Typifies the breed of the males uh, very, very well. He represents, I should say. What are you doing, Rhonda?
Kelly. What are you doing, Kelly? Kelly's a very nice dog, too. Gloria. Gloria's dad is ASAP. ASAP Bomb Aldemar. Look him up. He's one of the top dogs. Uh, he was the top dog, actually. 2019. And so, that's a big deal. What goes in is what comes out. And with this this line, the West Sherman Show lines, well, the many generations of dogs that are highly bred, discriminately bred, the physical, overall health, and mental. And that's why they have such temperaments and such structure and beauty, really. That's uh, crosses. That, that, Gloria. Gloria's got to save everyone. Uh, of course, it's chasing Eva. I believe he wants her bone. Kroxy, foy. That means no. Kroxy. Yeah. Yeah, so that is uh, Cross's daughter, Eva. Really, really sweet girl. They kind of pick on her. She's, uh, she just wants to play with everyone and they, they're keeping her at the bottom of the pack. I don't let them uh, do anything crazy with her, but uh, that, that, Gloria. <clears throat> they, uh, they, they get a little rough with her. Nothing vicious, but just pack order stuff. If you're familiar with the breed, uh, in the kennel setting, uh, can get that way. But, oh, good girl, Eva. You just just hold, stay your ground, stay the course, stay the course, Eva. Oh, he just swallowed it right now because <laughs> she knows what's going on. Well, so I didn't intend any particular theme in this video, but we talked about the West German show line and uh, some of their distinctives and the thinking behind uh, the breeding of the West German show line just to breed and develop dogs that are sound in mind and in body. And so, uh, again, when you meet that standard, uh, generation after generation, you get a highly bred dog. Now, if the, if the show line is not for you, that's fine. Uh, save your criticisms. That's, if you like the working line, uh, that's perfectly fine if you like a totally another breed that's your business too we're just talking about one particular line within a breed that has particular standards uh, for many generations and